Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday. That means we need to take a look at some possible Thursday flips. We do this at every week, a day before Weekend League Rewards, so you guys have a little bit of time to prepare and look at some last minute buys um, each week. I want to talk about Thursday flipping this week though and how it could be different. As you see right now, this is not my normal account. I am on the PlayStation 4. I just started this account up, just starting to go through all the objectives and stuff. I'm not going to play on this account too much. I'm still going to rock my main account on Xbox, um, but that will be where we are moving for next year FIFA 20 onto the PS4. So I'm just kind of, I just got one, getting my bearing set straight, and that's what I have on right now. So we'll be spending a lot of time though over here on the web app and on uh, Footbin as well for, to look at a lot of graphs and a lot of stuff like this. So we won't need the console too, too much. But obviously, we look at the daily graph on the market. I'm still gonna be looking at Xbox because that's what I'm most familiar with uh, this market still, although they're both very similar between PS4 and Xbox. You look here and you obviously know what we're talking about. We have seen these huge crash from this week, um, especially with the start of this uh, Team the Knockout stage promo into today. Now today we had the Matt HD market crash video. We had other people putting out videos about um, the pre-crash. Um, there was a lot of hype today around market crash, market fallout, pre-team of the season market crash, all that types of stuff. There was just a lot of talk about that today and that really insinuated even more panic. Um, I wanna go take a look at the Team of the Knockout stage squad because literally this evening as I'm making this video, some of these cards have dropped another like five to 10%. Hyunmin Sun all day was between 530 and 560, 570. I bought some at 530, 540 and sold them at 570 earlier in the morning. I just tweeted a little bit ago a screenshot of his price on Xbox being 475. He dropped 100 coins from his highest, 100,000 coins from his highest point today. A lot of these cards have just gone down more and more in just the panic sell. Um, obviously, that video that was put out today by Matt HD got a lot of people going out and getting their coins, I think, and a lot of people are just continuing to panic sell leading up to team of the season. That means a lot of people are losing coins. But that also means that a lot of people just sold their teams, they don't have cards, they don't have players, and um, those people still have to play weekend league this weekend, right? Some people might take the weekend off, yes, you can make that argument, but most of the player base is still going to want to go out and play their weekend league games this weekend. Foot champions, get their rewards, get their players, and try to get their packs that they're they're aiming to save up, or maybe they're starting to save now after this Team of the Knockout stage promo, but they have Team of the Season in mind, so a lot of people are going to want to play Weekend League to get the rewards. So don't think that there won't be a Thursday flipping opportunity this week just because the market is going down. We just have to look in certain areas because we've done this drill before. We know what happens, um, and it obviously it's not guaranteed to happen the same way. But so many times we've had a Thursday where we're looking at the market and a lot of things are going down because there's panic selling heading into a promo and the possibility of a big promo. Um, and every, there's still things that go up on Thursday. Now, in weeks like this, when people are selling their high rated cards, their expensive cards, you're seeing some big time drops in some of the highest rated players uh, in the game. You got guys like Team of the Years that are down. Uh, those knockout stage brand new cards that are down, icons are falling out of the sky. This Neymar Carnival card is just one example of a very expensive card. 2.1 million coins. He was 2.4 uh, just a week ago. He's down 300k in a week. A lot of these cards have just dropped down a lot. Mertens at 385. Um, a lot of the cards that are like 200k to a million coins have just dropped a ton. Mertens has always been over 400,000 coins, 430 last weekend, 385 right now. Um, so I wanna kinda talk to you guys about where the look is, what the move is for this week's Thursday flipping. Now, if you're thinking somebody who has maybe a, a team worth 1 million coins to 5 million coins, they just sold all their players, they have their coins liquid, they have a couple things they can do. They can do an Icon SBC, and we're gonna look at some of those high rated gold cards that are also weekend league investments here in a second that can kind of double as both because when people have coins, a lot of times they get to thinking. They get to thinking, wow, I see my coin total sitting up there in the top hand corner. 
I'm getting my uh, base icon SBC from FootSwap here in the next couple of days. What am I going to do with all these coins and a base icon? Hmm. I'm going to go do an icon SBC that I've been wanting to do and I've been thinking about doing. Now I have the coins right before team of the season. I could do this. They're obviously not thinking about team of the season coming up. They're going to get their icon. They're going to buy the high rated golds. They're going to uh, spend their coins getting that card, the untradeable card. And then they're going to have less coins, but they're also going to be buying some of those high rated golds. And I think that's a possibility that could happen this weekend. But I think what a majority of people will be doing is instead of going out and doing icons like some people will, a lot of people are just going to go buy the cheap the OP, the meta players for their weekend league teams. You're talking squads that are like 500,000 coins to a million coins for an entire team this weekend. You're looking, and that's where we want to look this weekend. That means we're looking at players that are in the, you know, 50K to 200K range. Um, gold cards included, you know, Pogba, Conte, maybe a guy like De Gea. A lot of people are going to be probably switching from maybe their team of the year De Gea. Let's look at team of the years to a gold De Gea this weekend. You know, um, if people are that hung up on thinking that team of the season is coming really soon, which I think a lot of people, oh my gosh. Mbappe for 3.2, Ronaldo for 6.5, De Gea for 870. Yeah, this is people selling their team of the year De Gea. And what are they gonna do this weekend? Well, they still wanna use De Gea, right? He was 935 last weekend. They're gonna go buy the gold version. Same card but it's 800,000 coins cheaper. Right now, De Gea sitting at 80K, that's a decent value. Now, you have to think about how much these cards are gonna rise too. Now, De Gea at 77K, I would buy that because that's 3K less, and that actually almost covers your tax on this card. You think of a guy like De Gea this weekend. You look at a normal weekend. Uh, let's look at a daily graph. Where does he go? Wednesday, he was 87, he goes to 93. This weekend, maybe with a little bit more you know, people looking at this card because the market is low, people are going for the cheaper version. Maybe he goes from 77K at his lowest today on Wednesday to maybe like 87. You're thinking, yo, that's only like uh, six or 7K profit after tax. That's how it's gonna be this weekend. You're not gonna get the big moving cards that are gonna go up 20, 30,000 coins. They're gonna double in price or, you know, go up half their price, maybe 20, 30%. You're looking for those buys that go up 10%. You're looking for the 10 to 15% um, increases in price on the cards that are on a lower budget. Because, you know, that's where people are going to be spending their coins this weekend. And yes, you know, gold cards do rise. They don't rise as much because they're still in packs. They get 119K. 119K. 115K. Was the was what the graph said? 114 is lowest point. Something like this is definitely definitely a buy. Let's look at the daily graph. What did Conte do two weeks ago? Conte 146 to 160. That would be a very nice rise for a card like Conte. Let's say he's 115 on Wednesday when you're watching this video. Maybe he's 140 on PS. Maybe he goes back to 150, 155 on Xbox. He goes to 120 high, 130. That's a good deal right there. You're, you're looking for the quick flips and the small flips this weekend. Now, if that means you have a lot of coins, I don't think it's something crazy that you want to go 10 million on Thursday flips this week. Um, but there is still an opportunity. What I'm trying to get to, uh, across to you guys is there is still a great opportunity to flip cards this weekend. Now, the next opportunity area I want to look at is the informs. We look at informs every week. Yes, people are going to buy gold cards. They're going to go from their inform Conte to their gold Conte. They're going to go from inform Pogba to the gold Conte, to the gold Pogba. But they're also going to sell their Neymar at left wing, and they're going to want a cheap OP, um, you know, replacement for that card. So they're going to go find a guy like this, Kingsley Coman, sixty thousand coins in this week's team of the week looks like his lowest that he's been on the week has been somewhere around 60,000 coins if you can get this under 60 on a snipe that'd be perfect low 60s for ps is good as well this is a card that you could see since it's new it's got the hype it's bundesliga um there was just a player of the month sbc maybe people went out and they did this max cruz and they're going to try him out this weekend or they did the luka luka jovic card that we got today um, and they're going to go try a Bundesliga squad this weekend with some untradeables that they have in their club. Um, you know, something like that. A card like this is one that could move a little bit more this weekend. 
as an inform out of packs. Five star skills, does have the three star weak foot, but he's an OP card and he's got the height piece. French, very linkable. He's Bayern, Bundesliga, also very linkable. Those are the types of cards that I want you guys to look for this week when you're scrolling through Team of the Weeks. This is something that you guys should do every single week when you're looking on Wednesday night or during the day Wednesday to buy some flips after awards. A guy like Jamie Vardy. Now, he hasn't risen much out of packs, but 100 k people are more willing to spend their coins for a guy up top and in the midfield than they are on the defense. You know, if you want to buy a Premier League team for this weekend's weekend league, the back line, you're going to spend your money on VVD, maybe Davinson Sanchez, Kyle Walker, and then your left back, you might have to roll with like a special inform Robertson or maybe just a gold Robertson or something like that. But you're more willing to spend some of your coins up here on a striker like Jamie Vardy for 95 pace and 87 shot. You can spend 100k, right? Absolutely. So look at this card. You go. You see him at like 105 on, on PlayStation. Same thing on Xbox, under 110. This card could easily be 120 this weekend. It's one of those, it's Premier League, it's English, it's got the hype, uh, he's pacey, he's got good shooting, and it's a pretty new card. You want to focus on this weekend, again, when you're looking through these squads for like the cheap beast players that people are going to just use in their cheaper teams, you're going to want to look for the good links and obviously the OP aspect of the card now team of the week 29 doesn't look too enticing to me team of the week 27 has one player in here that i really want to look at richarlison if you're going to get a substitute that you want to try out this guy is he's going to be i think this is going to be a big riser this weekend Eighty-three thousand coins on xbox he's been ninety thousand coins all week he hit 100k last week if this card goes to 80k, you might see me buy a lot of him. He's 4-star skills, 5-star weak foot, Brazilian in the Prem, links to anybody, gets that green link to Fabinho. You know a lot of people are going to have their gold Fabinho this weekend instead of like the team in the or the UCL Live version. They're going to have the gold. This is a great investment, I think, for this weekend. He's under 100,000 coins. He's OP. He's in a rare position still for the Premier League. If you're looking at a cheap right mid in the Premier League, you have Player of the Month Lucas, who's been out since the first week of the game. Boring, right? Everybody has used him. You have this Richarlison card, and maybe I don't the, the inform Sterling's like 170k, so you're not gonna go buy him. And you have Mares. Well, everybody's used Mares, so this is kind of a guy that stands out to me as a really good investment this weekend. PS for this card, I think you're looking somewhere around 90k as well the lower 90s yeah if you can get him on PS for like the lower maybe 90 92 93 would be a decent place on PS you'd expect him to go a little bit over 100 this weekend Xbox if he sees it see this at 80 I think you could expect him to go high 90s maybe get a sell at 100 um, that'd be a decent shot there but again that's the kind of thing you're looking for as you scroll through these team of the weeks Ben Yedder might be another good one he's French He's La Liga, he's got the links, he's a hype card. Um, that could be a decent one to look at as a as a good Thursday flip as well. And then obviously you're gonna wanna take a look at some of these special cards as well. The FFS cards, there's a decent amount of cheaper versions in here. Phil Foden, 150K for the Future Star version. That's a decent price. Calabria at 75K, there's been a lot of Serie A right backs, so I don't really know if I like that one. But Calvert-Lewin at Striker, 89K, that's cheap. Cliver, 87k. Wow, that's really cheap. That's the kind of guys that you want to focus on this weekend. Um, maybe not Lafont because of the, all the new Yoris versions. But you're going to want to look at under 200,000 coins, Premier League, meta, very usable cards in this game, and especially cards that people want to use. I mean, this Fernandinho card, 100,000 coins. If you could see him maybe get underneath that a little bit, looks about 100,000 coins for both PlayStation and Xbox. That'd be a decent riser as well, I think. Manchester City, Brazil, Premier League. So this is the kind of stuff that you want to do this weekend. Scroll through these Team of the Weeks. Look for stuff that's low. Look for the popular stuff. Um, maybe even a guy like this 86 Lala, because maybe people are going to transition from a Team of the Year uh, Mbappe or a Team, or like an Inform Mbappe, to a Golden Mbappe, but they're still going to need an Inform to link him with. So maybe even look at like the 84 Lala. Wow, that's a huge price drop off. 130K for this card, which is actually not very low. He's been 120. Then you go to the 84 rated card with a dynamic image. It's older. 
but it's only 50k. He was even lower at 47k. Now this is something that I could get interested in just because it's so cheap. And if people are really trying to save money this weekend, you find this card at the lower 40k's on both PS and Xbox, that could be a card that gets really rare because he is in a what is he from? Like team of the week. Team of the week 6. He's from very early on in the year. His card is probably very rare. And um it's a very cheap version compared to his other special cards. If you want to inform Lala, I think this is your guy. He says he's 52 right now on PS. What are we seeing on here? There's an any 84s. Any 84s on PlayStation. The 84 Lala. Let's find one and compare price and see how much supply he actually has. I should have put a minimum price range on this. Where is our Lala's at? Let's go minimum price. Buy now, one, two, three, four, and then we'll go up to 60 and see if he is actually there. There he is. So here's the Lala. How many pages do we have on PlayStation 4? How many pages do we have? Obviously, I know that's that's not a too that's not too bad. I'm not used to the PS4 market and how many pages there are of a certain card. But we're getting back here to the 59th minute, and there's only what is this? 20 pages? Less than 20 pages. I don't think that's too much, especially on PS4. I feel like if you're a PS4 guy, you can vouch for this. That's not too many pages, too much supply for an 84 Lala. At least it's not terrible. So that's the kind of stuff you want to look at again this weekend. Now, one more thing that I do want to mention. We're going to have to go to cheapest players by rating for this one. I saw this player earlier. Now we're looking at Xbox prices again. Make sure you you keep this straight. Tiago Silva. This is a card that people would use as a cheap replacement maybe you have the flashback Danny Alves in your club people are going to use untradeables that they have in their club this weekend you might see some old flashback cards come out you know if you see this card he was just at 37k on Xbox if you see him what is he on PS yeah if you see this card at like 40,000 coins on PS 37 36k on Xbox that's a really good buy because if people go and do icon SBCs this weekend this card is going to be in demand but also he is a usable um, cheap, I don't know if I would say OP, but he's a usable option for a cheaper team for a 500k team this weekend for a weekend league. So look at guys like Thiago Silva, um, other guys you might look at, maybe a Casemiro, um, maybe Allison, you know, maybe a, a Gold Mertens as well. Some of these higher rated cards that are usable that people might actually use in game, Dybala for, for 51k as well, Griezmann for 52k, that seems cheap. 51k for Dybala, eh, that's all right. What about Griezmann for 52k? This would be a type of card that a lot of people would, yeah, Griezmann for 52k, that's a good shout. You could see this one go back to, to upper 50s, maybe hit 60 and over 60 on Xbox, just because he is a cheap version of a very good player in this game that a lot of people do like to use. So that's kind of the gist of Thursday Flips this weekend. You're gonna wanna get on the cheap things, um, again, look at this week's Team of the Week. I didn't really look at a prediction during this video, and I'm, I really don't have time to now at the end. Um, but look at the cheap stuff this weekend. Um, even a guy like a special Socrates card. You know, he's going to have that link to the new left back uh, Kolasinac. You know, that's a 50,000 coin pairing for these two right here. Maybe 60K if you buy the Socrates and the Kolasinac. 60,000 coins to link with your untradeable Mkhitaryan uh, Europa League live card. That's a, a decent thing that people could be doing this weekend. A nice little triangle that people could form based on a link to one of the new cards in the game. But then take a look at Team of the Week predictions as well and um, maybe get some, some cards that could link to those. And people are probably going to save money this weekend. Maybe if they get a good red, try to incorporate that in their teams. Um, but again, the sell date for this weekend as well should be a normal sell day. I think you're looking at... Um, the usual sell day of Friday. I don't think we will, there shouldn't be another promo on Friday, obviously, because we're still in the middle of one. Uh, so I think you can, you don't have to get your flips out right away. Take a little time, you know, make sure that you're getting the best deal that you can, squeezing out every little bit of profit that you can before team this season when all of our coins become very important for the upgrade SBCs and all that type of stuff. But it should be a decent weekend, a weekend, it should be a we decent weekend of weekend league flipping, Thursday flipping, whatever you call it. Don't be scared by the market crash. People are still going to buy their teams. It happens every week. If you're a little bit scared or skeptical, just don't go in as far. Maybe go, you know, just spend a few things, buy a few cards, um, and then 
a lot of people probably will cut their losses this weekend as well. So if you're uh, like a team in the knockout stage card, I'm a little bit scared about those for a, a, in a Thursday investment, just because of the fact that a lot of people have these cards right now, they're trying to flip them, trying to invest in them, and they just keep going down. So I don't like those for this weekend for flips, just because of the fact that uh, they're still, people have those and they're gonna be losing coins on them, trying to get them out and get their coins again this weekend as well. But if you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions about Thursday flips and how that could go this week. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.